Good morning everyone. My name is Dhruvi Kapadia and I'm 16 years old. I study in grade 11 of Jandabai Nursery School. My project is PCOS or PCOD detection. PCOS stands for Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, the most common fetal disorder in women. It uses data analysis and image processing to detect the early symptoms of PCOS. Research suggests that it is an interplay of genetic, lifestyle and health choices which leads to the development of PCOS. While the exact cause is still unknown, it is known that every one in four women have this disorder, but only half of them get diagnosed. This is because women only seek medical assistance when there is some pain involved, which affects their routine life. Unfortunately then, the most common indicators of having PCOS go unnoticed. My program seeks to ensure that they don't. It detects the physical indicators of having PCOS and gives their user their risk level of having this disease. It also spreads a lot of awareness on this disorder as there is so much stigma surrounding periods. The program first asks for a user's weight and height. It conducts a BMI using these values. It returns to the user if they are overweight or underweight, two very common physical indicators of having this disease. Although it is unknown if obesity causes PCOS or PCOS causes obesity, it is a major indicator in knowing whether or not you may be at risk of this disease. It then asks the user if they find it difficult in gaining or losing weight. This is important because women with PCOS find it very difficult to change their weight because of the constant hormonal changes occurring in their body. It then asks for the data required to analyze one's sleep pattern. It asks if one is suffering from insomnia or finds it difficult to fall asleep and the average number of hours one sleeps. This is because PCOS is synonymous with another disorder called sleep apnea, which makes it very difficult for one to fall asleep. It also causes difficulty in sleeping for longer periods of time. It then asks questions to analyze one's menstrual cycle, perhaps the most important symptom of PCOS. It asks if the cycle has been regular for the past six months as well as the length of the entire cycle. The most common symptom of PCOS is irregular periods or no periods at all. It also causes very, very painful and heavy periods. After analyzing this data, the program switches to image processing. It, is, it uses machine learning to detect if one has acne, which is an important symptom of PCOS at as this as PCOS related acne is present only in the lower half of the face because it is a hormonally sensitive area. It then continues using machine learning to detect if one has male pattern baldness, which is a common symptom due to increased androgen, the male hormone present in the female body. It will then check if one has excessive hair growth in androgen sensitive areas like their beard area and chin. PCOS is the most common endocrine disorder occurring in a woman. Nearly 20% of women in their reproductive years, which means between 15 to 44, have PCOS, which accounts for over 10 million women around the globe who have PCOS. PCOS also increases the risk of several other health complications. Half of the women who have PCOS have pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes before they turn 40. It, women with PCOS are also at a much higher risk of having a stroke, other heart diseases, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, and high cholesterol, especially if they are overweight. P women with PCOS are seen to have more anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders than women without PCOS. PCOS accounts for over 80% of cases of infertility due to lack of ovulation. My program seeks to ensure that PCOS is detected before it can go on to cause such several and serious health complications. I have also tested this program on a number of women ranging from years 13 to 18 and received a lot of positive feedback. Some preventive measures would include to exercise regularly, practice yoga and pranayam, and have a healthy diet. An Ayurvedic option would be to have shatavari or wild asparagus, an adaptogenic herb with a long history of use due to its various health benefits. It tells users whether or not they are at high or low risk of having this disorder, which can either put them at ease or make sure that they visit a doctor as soon as possible, which could prevent so many major health issues in the future and provide them relief from the symptoms they are already facing. 